Hi everybody, this is Rick from Studio Spades and today I'm going to show you how the new Exploder tool works. Um, let me just import a OBJ here. Uh, this is a skull from a bison. Um, let me just reset the origin point and center the mesh as you should do with Exploder tool and load in Exploder tool and put that to the world origin as well. All right, so let's put it in a collection. Name it Skull for, uh, you can name it anything you want. And because this is a very dense mesh, I'm going to decimate it for this example. So I uh, apply decimate modifier here, uh, which takes a while as you can see because the, the mesh is quite dense. Uh, let me just find the right number. See, it takes a while. So, if you're gonna explode the faces, if you're gonna use polygon effects, which Blender Exploder Tool does, um, yeah, that's gonna take a while because there are a lot of polygons, as you can see. Um, the vertices turn the mesh black. That's how many polygons there are. So, in this case, it's uh, handy to apply a decimate first. Yeah, that seems better. And just apply it like so. Boom, so that's better. It's uh, a bit less dense, but still quite detailed. All right, so you can hide that collection, of course, because when you select it in Blender Explorer tool, it appears back and uh, then you can apply all kinds of effects like this simplified geometry which just makes it even further or it, it merges the, the vertices so you can always use that uh, on top of it um, now for this example let's explode the faces which you could already do in the previous versions of blend explode tool of course but as you can see, there are quite some drop-down menus be below the parameters. And um, yeah, those modifier drop-downs, they modify the values that you put in um, the parameters here in the Exploder tool. So if you modify them with the noise one modifier, and then maybe ex exaggerate the parameters here, you can see that a noise, let me just simplify the geometry, a noise is uh, modifying them. See, I just used the decimate again to make it a bit easier. And you can see them um, being influenced by the noise here. They're jiggling around, as you can see, and you can do it on all three axes, X, Y, and Z. Let me just put it back to zero for now. And you can also displace everything. So if you just fill in something, the entire mesh moves, but if you use a modifier in combination with that, you can see everything getting displaced. Now the values get modified, uh, uh, sorry, the values get multiplied by the, the modifier. So if you fill in 20 and, uh, or any other number, and uh, put a noise mod modifier on it, the white values of the noise will be 20, should be 20, and the black value should be minus 20. Now, that's when the noise is really uh, contrasted, so it might not move th by that much. Um, here I'm using a loop modifier on the skill. There's also a loop modifier which nicely um, animates the parameter over time and the sphere fall off I just selected allows you to further manipulate that as you can see and um, let me just increase the scale here just to make the demonstration a bit more easy to understand so yeah that's what um, those modifiers on the fall offs do they 
manipulate the parameters, you can um, yeah, tweak it to your heart's content. And it's just a very easy and fast way to animate your either instances or, in this case, the polygons, the faces of individual meshes. But you can use these techniques on instances in your collection as, as well. And in that case, because you use instancing, it's very fast. And here you can see the linear follow I selected. You can twist it, drag it in uh, all kinds of directions, and everything on one side of the follow off disappears. And when it reaches the other side of the linear fall off, things appear as you can see and you can apply this to uh, yeah multiple parameters basically anything that has a drop down menu here has a, a selector or modifier and a fall off the selector which i'm enabling here that creates boolean selections on the meshes or instances and you can tweak all the settings of the noises and the modifiers uh, in the modifiers window below here so I just increased the scale of the noise so you can see bigger holes appear. Uh, you can pan the noise so you can see it moving over time. And the noise selection either, as you can see here, scales the meshes up and down and dis displaces them, or it doesn't. So yeah, it, as you can see with the linear fall off on top of that, it only applies those settings to the, the, the modified parameters so again just a very quick and easy way to animate and bring life to your scenes to your instances or meshes in the new blender explorer tool available on blender market uh, right now it's in alpha so don't please don't use it in um, serious projects or client projects yet because some things might not work or um, yeah, that, that might, there might be bugs, things might change. So keep that in mind. But yeah, you can definitely start using Blender Exploder Tool 2.0 Alpha right now. So I hope you enjoy it. The update is free, of course, if you already own Exploder Tool. And if not, you can get it um, through the link in the description. Thank you and take care.